show you about another wild edible that we found. Um, this one is called wood sorrel and it looks kind of like a clover because it's got a three lobe leaf to it, um, but it's not a clover. If you take a look here, um, it's got a three lobe leaf like that and it's got these little yellow flowers on it. And this is pretty common where we live in Michigan. Um, these come up all over wherever there's open areas. This uh, tastes sort of like a lemon. You just pick a little leaf like that and you can just chew on it. It tastes just like lemon. I think this would be good in a salad or you can make soups or teas out of this. I have a recipe where I'm going to make a lemonade substitute. I'm going to take a half a cup, just picking the, the leaves and some of the blossoms off, uh, just a half a cup of those and steep it in about 8 ounces of water for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to cool it down so that it's a cold drink and we'll see what that tastes like. I might add some honey to it just to make it a little bit sweeter because this is kind of tart. But As with anything, if you're going to pick something growing in your yard, especially if you want to eat it, please make sure that you're positively identifying it. Get yourself a good um, foraging book and use the internet to get some good pictures and information. From a nutritional standpoint, the wood sorrel does have vitamin C, some calcium, and believe it or not, a little bit of iron from what I've read. So it is good for you too. But yeah, go out and see if you can find some of this. It's usually like I said, in backyards and just common areas, if you look for it, you'll probably find it nearby. All right, so that's it. We're gonna try some of the tea and we'll see how that goes. So we've got some boiling water here, about eight ounces or so. Uh, put it in the microwave and got it really hot. And this is a half a cup of the sorrel that I picked just a few minutes ago. So that goes into the hot water and just kind of push it down in there. Grab just a little it's kind of brown now. All right, I'm just going to cover this with a plate to keep the heat in there, and we'll let that steep for about 10 minutes, and then we'll come back and strain it out. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes since we put this in here. And I've just got a little strainer, fine mesh strainer. I'm going to strain the leaves so we just have the liquid left. I'm going to taste this like it is, and then I'm going to refrigerate it and compare. It is kind of tart. Um, similar to lemonade, I guess. But I can taste a green flavor in there, almost like there's a green vegetable in it. So I'm going to refrigerate this and probably sweeten it, and then we'll try it then. Okay, so I just got this out of the freezer. I had it in the freezer for about an hour, I think, uh, just to get it cooled down. And it's got a little bit of ice in it, looks like. I did sweeten it with uh, about a tablespoon of honey, but I haven't tried it yet. So let's try it. I'd say it's okay. It still tastes like I don't know what what vegetable I'm thinking of. It tastes like a vegetable to me with a little bit of tart and a little bit of sweet. It's okay. I, I don't know if I'd make it again, but now I know. And now you know. So if you want to go get some uh, wood sorrel sometime and put it in some salads or try something out, um, I think it's good just munching on plain by itself, but you can try it in a couple different things, I guess. And if you find something that you really like, let us know and uh, send an email or comment down below. Alright, see you later.